Hi, this is Julie Ketzi with Invicta FC, and I'm joined here today in this preview show of the fights on Friday night with Carla Esparza, the champ, strawweight champion of the world, and also featherweight contender Marluz Kunin. Now, you're going to be fighting for the uh, featherweight championship on our next Invicta card, is that correct? That is correct. Looking and we're forward. looking at the title contenders who are going to be matched up against That's you. That's the totally reason why I came to Kansas. <laughs> I want to see it. Awesome. Okay, well, we're going to start with our title fight. Uh, let's start with Jessica Penne versus Michelle, the karate hottie, Watterson. Now, what do you think about this fight, Carla? I think it's going to be a good fight, but I honestly, I see Jessica finishing this fight. Uh, I think she's like a step above this division. I think she's going to have the title for a long time. And uh, she's just faced a lot of tougher competition. Um, she just beat the number one fighter in the world. So I just think she's, um, you know, amazing. I've trained with her. I've seen her fight. I, I see her coming out with her hand raised. And uh, but Michelle's tough. You know, she has a lot of tools coming out. You know, she um, definitely has a, a very unique style. Unorthodox. Throws a lot of um, kicks coming from different places. So. You know, I, I definitely see some fireworks, but I, I think Jessica's going to come home with the win on this one. Do you agree with her, Marlis? Yeah, I guess I do. They've got the same uh, kind of record, so... But the thing, what I'm thinking about is when you're a champion, and you know that too, everybody's coming for you, and um, I'm curious to see that, how she does that, how she defends her title. Is she still strong in her head? And what do you do when uh, you've got such an unorthodox... Um, opponent like Michelle. Yeah, it's true. You know, I think that um, coming from watching both of these fighters develop, um, I would say that the key to Michelle getting a victory over the champ in this is definitely going to be an unorthodox mm -hmm. style, like trying different things, coming from angles that, that won't be expected. And we'll, we'll see how that plays out. They represent very, very good teams. Jessica's from King's MMA, Rain Training Center, Black House, Checkmat. She trains with all those girls in California. And then, of course, Michelle Watterson comes from Jackson's MMA, which, you know, I, I have a particular <laughs> fondness for. But I think that this is going to definitely be, I think the champ is really going to show uh, some interesting diversity in this fight, and it's up to Michelle to come and take away that belt. Looking right. forward to it. Yeah. Let's move along. We have two title fights on this show. Our next one is the flyweight title fight. This match intrigues me. We have Vanessa Porto, who's 15 and 5, versus Barb the Little Warrior Honchek, and she is 7 and 2. Sure. And uh, Vanessa Porto from MMA University. Both of these girls are incredibly technical. Um, I want to know what you guys think about this matchup. Marluce, I will start. be honest with you. I do not know too much about those two girls. <laughs> so I'm focusing on a, on a few girls, and they're mostly in my weight category. So I let it. Uh, um, I think Barb Honchak is like super well-rounded. She, um, you know, she's very strong. Uh, I've personally never gotten a chance to train with her, but I mean, I think you can just see when she fights. You know, her power and. You know, she's beaten some top-level girls. Uh, she looks strong. I mean, I haven't seen her finish a lot, but I really can't see her being finished by most people. She's just super tough, uh, has good ground game, and amazing striking. And I think um, she's living in Iowa now, actually, so I, I definitely see that improving her wrestling game so she can bring the fight down to where she wants. You know, and I think what's interesting about this fight is this will be uh, Vanessa Porto's second fight at 125 at the flyweight division. And Vanessa, in her last performance, just absolutely, she just, I mean, annihilated somebody who was a former pound for pound, you know, like one of the top girls in the sport, Tara La Rosa. And uh, Vanessa was able to impose this, this game plan of just strong, hard right hands and hard leg kicks. And just, I mean, Tara was, she was dropped several times during that fight. Now, I would say that Barb is extremely technical, like I said, and she comes with a real strong wrestling technique and all that. So we, we've got to see how that plays out. This gritty aggression versus technique. What do you think? Well, actually on that, you know, with Vanessa, her punches seem so strong. I mean, she was definitely nailing um, her last opponent. But um, I saw her get a couple of uh, strong punches as well. And when I saw her get, get those, she kind of wobbled out a little bit. So I'm kind of thinking uh, she can throw them, but uh, we'll see if you know, can she take them? Can she take them? <laughs> yeah, can she take them back? And I know Barb wants to give them to her, so we'll see what happens. And you know, it's interesting to note that uh, Vanessa Porto and you have a common opponent in Chris Santos Cyborg. So, or Chris Cyborg Santos, however you want to say it, yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> which is our Cyborg next fight. As well. <laughs> Cyborg. We all think of her as Cyborg, and she, you know, for the past uh, 
for the past, I don't know, what, six years, she's just been destroying like yeah. this. Like she's been this, uh, what we thought was an unstoppable force. Unfortunately, you know, she was faced with some controversy and now she's making her next fight back into the cage. She's gracing Invicta, uh, this, the, you know, this kind of legend in the sport. But I think that you have a particular interest in this fight when Cyborg takes on Fiona Muxlow. Yeah, definitely. I fought uh, Fiona back in December. And um, she's a really nice girl and she's really, really tough. I mean, it, it took me more than a month before my knees were okay again. <laughs> and she didn't do anything about it. So I, um, I actually think Cyber will win, but I also saw the, um, the physics of Fiona has changed mm -hmm. way better now. So, but, uh, and actually the physics of Cyborg has changed as well too. Mm -hmm. I like it better. I think this is uh, uh, more healthier for her. But I'm really curious if she still has that aggressiveness over her, if she still has the, the, the devastating knockout in her. And uh, that's, that's, I want to see that front row, you know, and I want to feel and experience it. So I know we'll be fighting uh, in June or July. Oh, awesome. And what do you think about this? Uh, I'm really excited for this fight. Um, her opponent, Fiona, is actually from Australia, and uh, I don't think they have the highest level of competition out there. They don't have the numbers out there to get a lot of good competition. But as I, I showed in my last fight when I fought Beck Hyatt, you know, uh, they can be tough as nails and they might surprise you. So we'll see. Um, I know Cyborg is a really hard, you know, she trains really hard and I know she really didn't take any time off, you know, with her suspension. So I'm really excited to see, um, you know, how she comes out looking in this one. I, I, I see her hand raised and I see a finish. Now, you know, ladies, I mean, if you look at my record, you know somebody who's gone through some pitfalls in this sport. But I will say what's wonderful about mixed martial arts is that it offers redemption, like stories of redemption to everybody at some point. You know, this is Cyborg's kind of chance to, to have a clean slate and to start all over again. And it's Fiona's chance to possibly get a chance to redeem her loss against you. So in, in, in this fight, we, we've got some real intrigue. Like, this is going to be kind of it's just one everybody should keep their eye on. I yeah, think. really. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Now let's look over one fight in the bantamweight division that is going to be very, very interesting. Kind of the young, up-and-coming superstar, you know, Leslie Smith, who just is, is setting Invicta on fire, versus the former Strikeforce champion, Sarah Kaufman. What do you two think about this fight? I am, like, super excited for this fight. I love Leslie. Um, I think Sarah is so tough. Uh, Sarah's face the best in the world. Um, she definitely has the experience edge. On Leslie, you know, I think she has three times as many fights, but, you know, Leslie's tough and she obviously punches and kicks hard and, you know, she doesn't give up. So um, I think we're going to see like a stand up war and, um, you know, Sarah Kaufman is really tough to take down, so I don't really see it hitting the ground. Mm -hmm. So I'm just really excited. I think we're going to see some blood in this one. And how about you, Marlos? We know you've actually fought Sarah Kaufman yeah. in the past. So I, I know she's tough mm -hmm. and uh, she's a great striker and kicker. And I'm from the Netherlands, so I really love them. What you said, if, if it becomes a stand-up war, I'm all be rooting. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those ones that sets the crowd on fire yeah, a little bit, right? Definitely. Yeah, we like to see people get punched. Yeah, but, yeah. Do you have any, you know, from, from watching these these two fighters at all, like in the past, do you have anything that you think one is going to try more than the other? Or uh, strikers? I kind of disagree, because I think Sarah, is, uh, you can take her down quite easily. And uh, if she can do that, I mean, Ronda did it, I did it. And um, if she does do that, then it's a different uh, thing. And she's very defensive on the ground, but I do not really... Her, uh, I think her, her strength is in the stand-up. Mm -hmm. And I hope she's going to show that. Well, I have a feeling she will. I think both of those girls are yeah. going for broke on Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> so that pretty much wraps up all the fights that I wanted to cover. Is there anything that really, really interests you two on this card? I mean, you're maybe looking for a new strawweight contender at this point. So are there any of these fights on this card, you know, are they... Are they fascinating? Um, actually, one of the ones that I'm most interested in is not in my division. It is in the atomweight division. It's uh, Cassie Rodish versus Simona Sukapova. <laughs> yeah, Sukapova, that's fine. I stumble but, on that one too. Yeah. You know, she's been fighting at 115, and I think she's going to be a star. Simona, I think she's awesome. And I think Cassie is, you know, as well, she's super tough. You know, I think she's been making waves in the 105 division. Um, she's undefeated in 105 right now, and I, I definitely see that one. If it goes to a decision, um, I don't think there's going to be a moment of rest. I think they're going to be going after each other, going hard the whole time. Awesome. How about yourself? 
Yeah, I took the, fla uh, the plane from uh, Amsterdam to Kansas to see Cyborg. Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't that's fight awesome. Going for it. Yeah. <laughs> You've got something at stake here. You're, yeah, looking, uh -huh. you're looking for your contender. Yeah. Um, that's wonderful. You know, I would I would say a fight of note to me, obviously, is going to be the Beck Hyatt Jez, or Yasminka Sive fight. Excuse me, um, just because the animosity these two women are bringing into this. I mean, it's it's there's just this insane tension between them, and um, I'm I'm really interested to see how that plays out. You know, sometimes when you get those grudge matches, it actually kind of fizzles because all the energy is spent before the match. Yeah, yeah, it's on the, the other yeah, yeah, but yeah. on the other hand, sometimes it's just clash, clash, clash. So I think that's definitely one to keep an eye on. Well, that kind of wraps it up for this discussion, ladies. Um, please, at home, check out these fights. Buy the internet pay-per-view 995, April 5th, this coming Friday, www.invictafc.com. Do not miss this show.